So you're gonna make Venom gay? This is what you need to know about Venom. I rank Venom as the best comic book villain. My favorite comic book villain. For me, like, I told you, I've never rated the Joker as a villain. I know, I know, I know Joker's I do that, I know, but I've never rated Joker as a villain. I never have. So for me, from, from the start, from the beginning, my favorite, the guy who I rank as the number one villain in the purest sense of the world is Venom. And it's funny because my favorite comic book character growing up, as in within the comic books, was Spider-Man. So whenever you saw Spider-Man against Venom, it was freaking amazing. Because, you know, th th this. Thumbs down to people who don't understand. Todd McFarlane, who created the amazing Free Freaking Spawn. He is the creator of Venom. And I watched a video where Todd McFarlane explains why he wanted to, well, how Venom came through, because basically they wanted to basically take Spider-Man into a new plateau and so forth and everything. And then he was like, you know what? Let me give Spider-Man like a villain. And he said like, you know, Spider-Man is like this. Whereas I want to now create like a villain that's like this. So I want to create someone that physically is an overpowering bully an antithesis to Spider-Man. And I remember even watching the Spider-Man Fox cartoons, I, w I got scared and worried for Spider-Man every time Venom showed up. Because, okay, he could deal with Doc Ock, he could deal with um, Goblin, Electro, all this kind of, of dudes. But once Venom came, Venom beat the crap out of him. And Venom was scary. And he was like, no, Spider-Man, this is a test. Like, this maybe it's, it's done. Basically, Venom was, was done. <laughs> okay, Venom was, was freaking done for Spider-Man. So... Cause when, I mean, cause, see, you see the, the, the guys are sick, man. Guys, that, that, see, that's, see, this is why I left films. This is why I left films to come and just do football and everything. Cause, I, cause it's, it's so disheartening. It's so wrong. It's so disrespectful. Cause the first Venom film was just trash. You know, it was used to, cause you're making this a comedy now. You're making this a comedy. And I just don't watching um a review from double toasted the guys who were previously spill.com and they just did a review of the venom film and they first of all the kind of things that they said was oh yeah this is something i already knew but there's something that i didn't know there's an image and i think you can see this image right now this image i thought was a lie i thought somebody did like some kind of specific fan art for this image i thought this image was a lie I really thought this image... Oh, no, no. This, this, this has... You have Venom, one of the most frightening, fearsome villains in a club doing a mic drop. I mean, I'm speechless. I am genuinely speechless because um, that's... Like, I just say, why? Why? For people that do this stuff, why? Because this is almost similar to the whole GTA situation. Because if people are going to now come up and say, we enjoyed Venom, we liked Venom, then, then what can I say? If, because the, the problem with our Venom film was that it was supposed to tank. It was trash. It was a piece of crap. It was utter freaking garbage. It was, it was a piece of crap. It, was, it stank. But people who didn't really read Venom comics, people who not really into that whole comic books of casual fans, they loved it because hey, it was fun, it was amusing and so forth. So now, what you're not seeing is let them be kind of just, oh, you liked what you saw in our first movie. We're going to freaking double down. We're going to double down. We're going to triple down. We're going to quadruple down. We're, we're, we're going to six, 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 triple down on, on you guys. So, you're putting a whole Venom, one of my favorite top villains of all time. Screw the joke. No one cares about that joke. No one cares. The, the joke is freaking cheesy. The number one villain. The number one evil villain of all time, Venom. You're gonna make him a freaking joke? No, 
So my thing now is like, oh my god, oh sugary me muffins, man. Because, because now I'm thinking like, oh wow, we're now gonna get proper Spider-Man versus Venom, where Venom actually looks like Venom because he's big, he's hulky, and so forth. The Spider-Man film. But now I'm hearing that there's like a, it's like a homosexual kind of relationship between Venom and Eddie, and it's like a sexual kind of. I, what, this, this is all I ask. What is wrong with this world? That's, that's all I want to ask. What is wrong with this world? What is wrong with society? What is wrong? Where did we go wrong? That's what I want to know. Please, I want people to say, where did we go wrong in society here? What happened? Why is this happening? Why are people doing this to specific things that have a very specific description as to what they are. Why are you poisoning specific characters with specific characteristics with weirdo agendas from the real world? Why? Please, guys, I need you to ask me why. Why? I need you to ask me that. Why? You're gonna make Venom gay? I mean, 